uh, between Team Amari uh, over on the blue side defense before the swap going up against Team Avatar from Singapore uh, on the attacking side. Spike right now going to be given over to Sage, which uh, makes a lot of sense, of course, just because of the general play style uh, of Sage as an agent. You don't want to stick her in the back line. You don't want her to rush straight onto site just so she can maximize the healing uh, potential. So usually at all, teams do choose to give uh, their Sage the spike, but oh, we say that, but already it's going to be a fast, flawless team wipe for the side of Team Amari. It's kind of uh, what I want to say we were expecting, especially after seeing today's uh, games. Uh, Avatar on the attacking side on Bind, which is never really where you want to be. Actually, the earlier two games that we saw on Bind, uh, both of them ended in 13 and 0 complete wipeouts. They have a sub, right? At the moment. If my eyes don't betray me, my my, my, my Yushi, Yushi, I yeah. think, might be the sub. Yeah, I think my Yushi is the sub. So that's going to be interesting to see what dynamic she adds to the team. And already we do have a Sova. Uh, as we didn't go through the lineups, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll go through the lineups at the beginning of the next round because we're going to see a huge push right now. Boombot and Smokes have been triggered. One minute, 20 seconds on the clock. Boombot is going to be stopped. So here comes the wall. Spectre on the other side of their walls. She's starting to move back though. And KC Chua is going to be able to escape. She has a slow up as well as a heal. Going to use the heal on herself. Molly's come out to try and stop that short push. But they are already at the corner of the site. Nuts coming through. We'll get the fire kill on Lum uh, Lumiere. As the spike will go down. And here comes the recon bolts. Perfect recon bolts. Picks up everybody on the site. And that's going to be it as they get that defuse pretty easily. Flawless round from them. Great work. So uh, why don't you take us through the, uh, the agent lineups for both teams? Yeah, so uh, the thing that we were wondering about was whether Nuts About Gaming was going to play that Phoenix that she was absolutely phenomenal on the uh, last game, uh, number five. Uh, turns out she is. She is going to stick to uh, what she's good at, but to round out the rest of their team. Uh, they've gone uh, very utility heavy, I think, uh, especially earlier when we were seeing other games on by. You know, mm. you pick the Cypher, you pick the Sage, that's pretty much your site be covered. And then the other three members uh, of your team can afford to uh, go to site A this time as you mentioned since they do have Sova so there is a potential of you know uh, shooting those recon uh, arrows to get just that bit more vision over at the start so you can see it uh, on your screen right now you know for the side of uh, Avatar they have picked up the Sage as well as Cypher but they've gone for a slightly more offensive uh, team composition with the Rays as well as oh, the Oh he jets. already has alt. Nukella. Yep 5 0 and 0 baby. I think did he? Yeah, because he got five. Mm -hmm. And I think he picked up an all as well. Yeah, there was got, yeah because th there, there wasn't a diffuse. I think round one had a diffuse. This is what happens when you get old. Your memory. No, no, he he either, <laughs> he either. I'm pretty sure he probably picked up an all before the spike. Uh, Went spike down. Went yeah, down. B long is a good spot. This especially is the perfect if time right now. The Molly goes out onto window. He is gonna orbital. Is he gonna orbital? Yes! Orbital strike! Let's go! How many? That's one. That's two. Do we get one more? No. But uh, that has done the damage. Snow and Mickey go down. And the last one up there in the window is none other than Tokyo. They have, uh, she's been, a she's able to get the spike back. Luminaire though is behind enemy lines and he's getting chased now throughout of elbow. Tokyo comes out, picks up one, is double sprayed. And now they know that Luminaire Ray is, uh, Lumire is there and they're just gonna guard the spike because she doesn't have enough time. So she has to go for the kills and decides not to risk it. 1v2. Could have gone for it, try and go mm -hmm. for the clutch. Decides not to, goes for the save, and is she gonna be able to survive? Oh, she does survive, a bit, of, uh, a bit of mercy uh, right there. So lucky for her, but she will, uh, she, will, she will salvage that Phantom and make it slightly easier. She'll be able to buy 
one of her teammates. Yeah, I think that was really swinging her decision. Uh, as you mentioned, 1v2, generally, I think most players would try to go for the 1v2. The thing is, they didn't have spike control. She didn't have spike, mm. and he had dropped it. And then the uh, defending side had spike control. If she had spike, I think she for sure 100% uh, would have tried to make that play happen. Uh, but as it stands, Amari is going to b3 and o up off of avatar right now uh this is the point in the game where uh since amari especially sitting on so much gold uh has been able to pick up snipers not sure if they picked mm. up any they do have the gold for snipers so they could uh potentially pick up people off of a long or through hookah window when i when i <laughs> when i see a group up of people like this, <laughs> just like that. Yeah. My my pro am like goals start to haunt me because it's <laughs> just one well placed AOE. That's it. So recon ball comes out. That's gonna scan them, and that's gonna show that they're gonna come through shot. Here comes the valley of uh, shock darts and recon darts. Token coming around the corner from showers drops two and now that uh, that operator right behind the wall she's gonna go down to 22 pops the smoke as we're gonna see the spike get planted right there Mayushi not sure which way to go and will be dispatched by snow nuts though will take out Mickey on the side so spike is not gonna get planted and now it is a game of cat and mouse 20 seconds on the clock to get Spike, Nukella drops one, Lumere will drop another, and Snow will wrap up the round. So finally, they'll pick up a, they'll pick up a round on attack, and uh, Avatar should be happy about that because that's going to help them out on the economy situation. They're not looking too shabby on that, and um, they're not looking too shabby on that. They didn't get the Spike money, but they will be able to break the momentum that Amari so uh, so dominantly had. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially for uh, all of you stat nerds uh, out there. This is the very first round in 30 whole rounds that we've seen on Bind today where the attackers have actually won the previous... Yes, uh, 29 rounds were all round won by the defense. Uh, also... Uh, since we are into game number six of today's uh, games, uh, Amari actually, if they can close this game out against Avatar, it will put them through into tomorrow's uh, knockout stages since they do have the win over Harmony previously and we are playing in a round robin. So definitely a lot of stakes uh, to uh, play for here in uh, game number six of the FSL Pacific, uh, Asia Pacific Valorant Open. Mm, recon drone coming out from Sugar will spot two, so they know it's an A-sided push. Smokes are now going to come onto short. Wall comes out. Wall comes out by Keshi Chua, and then the overall strike being called onto. Very strangely, being called onto Yu Hall to no effect, but the Nukella Keshi Chua will get three. Counter orbital strike now from the defense on to uh, U-Haul as well. No effect there, but Tripwire has been uh, has been tripped. Spike goes on B, and uh, Nut's gonna be able to dispatch Mickey pretty easily. So 4-1 on the scoreboard in favor of, in favor of Amari at the moment. And they uh, are able to, they're able to pick up an operator in, in that whole, in that whole, some, what? Yeah, where did, it's where did that it, avatar, avatar picked up, right? To, yeah. Did they pick up the the? the, the Might have picked it up off of. Uh, one of the, I think they picked it off of their own. The their round? I think or no, I think they it? took it. Wait, didn't someone from Amari die in the last round? So they might have just picked it up off of their teammate. Maybe, perhaps. Yeah, but I, let's think, see. I think that's let's what happened. Let's have a look at where Sugar is. Uh, okay, he's gonna hold heaven with that. Uh, Heaven with that operator, but uh, unfortunately for him, the rest of Avatar are getting ready to push through window. Boombot comes out, so that's going to be a, a, some intention. Alt comes through, and now big push right now. Stim begin, they're going to just absolutely spray window. Bubba Gum's going to be able to drop one with the with the uh, bomb pack. Mickey onto Mayushi, Tokyo on nuts. And they have full bomb site control at the moment. Spike will be planted. Now the question is, Casey's at window. Casey is at window. 
uh, Sugar is at spawn at CT, has the operator. If they want, they can try and force this, but uh, decide not to. So they're going to save an operator as well as a Vandal. Yeah, I think between the two utility agents that they have of uh, Sova as well as Sage for this round, they're not going to chance the 2v5 mm. also. As you mentioned, Sugar does have the operator. I mean, uh, it's probably the better decision to take that into the next round instead of trying to force that 2v5. Very nicely coordinated uh, push uh, coming oh, in from Avatar this round. Here we go. Around. Uh -oh. Portals are in. Three-man portal, four-man portal. <laughs> oh, God. Thank goodness that uh, they didn't decide to come out and hunt. <laughs> so <laughs> that would have been an absolute disaster of a save. Would have been fun to watch, though. It would have been fun to watch. <laughs> it would have been 100% fun to watch. But 4-2. Uh, okay, so Sugar buys a Phantom, leaves the Operator at Heaven. I mean, I guess... So just in case he wants to come, she wants to come back to heaven and use it to mark. Maybe I guess maybe that's the logic. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. So once again, B kind of split push coming out from Avatar at the moment. Smokes are gonna go down pretty soon, and the Sage is gonna wall that out. They're gonna break the wall very quickly. Now the rotation is coming in from coming in from Amari. My Yushi through. Portal together with not no Mayushi yeah. at elbow will pick up a kill through window and oh my wow that's how you use the recon bolt and that's how you use the uh, trip wires and cyber cages to great effect as well as your camera yep easy pick up uh, onto the Ooh, stage the wall, over man. in Huka once again recon bolt coming through exactly cypher alt also and uh now they do know that the rotate is gonna happen in the opposite way so now the counter rotate from b to a that's a puff that was a i wouldn't say perfect hold but that was a really good rotation and hold of the site by amari but they're not out they're not out of the woods yet 2v5 still possible one portal through and that's a sage at the back Bubblegum does have her ult, so she does have the uh, showstopper rocket launcher. So potentially that could be one kill, but uh, they're not going to risk it. 10 seconds to go, and they'll be able to save. What are they saving? They'll get a Spectre and an Ares out of this. Money-wise, no gun money. I mean, if they want, they can still buy Spectres and Phantoms with shields next round. Not a, not a huge issue. Yeah, actually their eco, especially considering that it's 5 and 2, is not bad. Actually, the eco is pretty even. I mean, they can, as you mentioned, go for the uh, buy if they want to. I think one thing that stood out to me was that uh, Nukella, the Brimstone, over on Amari, just has so many kills. He's sitting on close to 3,000 credits uh, in terms of money at yeah, 11 uh, kills. So that's uh, 2,200 uh, just in terms of extra kill credits that he's managed uh, to rack up in the five rounds. Nice, getting rid of the trap wire over at the start. Bit of a gutsy push right here. Cypher gonna go in first, lays the cage down. Grenade coming out from Raze. This time knows to shoot the trap wire over at Huka window before going in. And Raze already going down. Exactly 3v4. Right. Cypher ultimate once again to find out uh, where everyone is. Oh, Sage and Phoenix. The collateral from uh, Huka entryway it's gonna make it a 2v1 situation gets shot down uh and with that attackers are going to take that one they don't didn't go for the spike plant i think uh 
but usually you have just barely enough time to get the spike plant down after you get the team web. I don't think that Brimstone was quite on the site yet. You have something like half to one second to actually start planting it before uh, the timer expires and you go into the next round. So they didn't get the uh, extra 300 credits that they could have, but they uh, are pulling things back 5 and 2. And frankly, the fact that they're 3 rounds out of 8 on the attacking side in bind, uh, that's a miracle, man. I mean, <laughs> that's absolutely amazing. They were very lucky that round because they they tripped the the uh, they got rid of the uh, tripwire, but they they activated that cage. So if uh, well, let's look at the hunter's fury whether he can uh, pick up anyone at the moment. Does pick up one that nice. is, uh, is going to be making that's quite a little bit of damage as well. And that's the stage down is also so there's no res, there's no mm -hmm. heal, no wall, and that's a that's an amazing pick early on. That is really good news, very very good news for for uh, for Amari uh, right now. Let's have a look at Ray's. So orbital strike getting dropped onto you Hall. Sugar will go down. Not to pick out Lumere. Tokyo coming through showers now. Res from Casey Chua onto Sugar, so that restores them up back to four on. Three and Tokyo kind of knows someone's there. Gets a couple shots on to onto Sugar, but unable to finish it off. And Keishi Chua comes around the corner, gets a double onto Bubblegum as well as Snow through the wall. So Tokyo, last one standing, one v four has a Vandal. Probably gonna go for the save, but yeah, in that previous round they were really lucky because they because they triggered the Cyber Cage. So Muyashi, uh, Musashi or Muyashi. Mayushi. <laughs> Mayushi would have definitely known that if she sprayed through the window, she would have picked up two of the three people. But I don't know what repositioned her um, there. Maybe a Molly or, or the like probably repositioned her there. So 6-3 on the scoreboard. They once again are able to save a Vandal. But uh, economy-wise... Yeah. It's all right. Like it's pretty even. I I, mm -hmm. I want to say like after the buys and everything, you can see it's it's pretty even, Stephen. They haven't really been doing a lot of um, a lot of management. I would say Amari probably could have could have better economy hygiene, but uh, uh, I mean they're happy. They're on six. They're six three already. Uh, Avatar are going to be pretty happy as well. They've got three rounds so far. Maybe one more round would be would be perfect. Uh, and then when they switch over, they should be pretty pretty stoked with the with the results so anything any other round that they pick up right now is just going to be the icing on the cake yeah it would be a bonus for them amari though they do have the uh, full team of uh vandal or phantom uh, whereas avatar they did pick up the phantom as you mentioned but i think most of the other people are using specters uh, so a Mayushi. slight disadvantage in terms of gun so yeah. both sides they've leaked So yeah, a leak on both sides, and uh, but luckily for them, um, I mean, Nukella is able to hold the line in elbow. Yes, Maishi is able to take out the guys jumping out from windows. So. Sage saw the brimstone jump out of the window and get shot, but she just ran straight ahead at that point. Yeah. There's a lot of a lot of stuff happening, right? Mm -hmm. They had two guys behind in elbows, so they yeah. would have thought they have control of anyone trying to take them out as they come out of window. So you. You just want to push as quickly as possible. Unfortunately for them, you know, Mayushi was was there as well and and basically blinded the hell out of them with uh, with the cyber cages. So a lot of confusion. And then you add to that um, avatar, they use their brim smokes all over the the site as well. So it was just I would be confused as well as as to like where am I supposed to look because stuff is just all over the place. So. See, once again, so they're going to go through and, and that noise plus you get the image. Orbital Strike comes through, able to survive. Good jump through by, uh, by Tokyo, but unable to pick up anyone. Mayushi though will have enough of the alt. All the locations are going to be shown and now the full rotation will come through. Jugo goes down though, Mayushi will pick up one. KC Troll with the slow up. We'll, we'll be able to slow that uh, long push in. Nukella with the uh, with the headshot onto Snow as he comes out the window. Nukella picks up another one and has uh, is on that steam beacon. We'll pick up four kills that round. 
Good use of utility and smokes as well as a stim beacon onto CT to help his teammates as well. And that's going to bring it to 8-3 on the scoreboard in favor of Amari. Last round, let's have a look at the buys. It's all right. Yeah, it's not that bad. I mean, Lumi Ray okay. isn't, isn't going to be able to pick up a fa uh, a Vandal uh, this round just because no one else on her hmm. team has that spare uh, 2,900 gold. So she's going to be using the Spectre uh, this time, but pretty even. Uh, I'd say all nine Thanks, other members full shields plus either a Phantom or a <laughs> Oh, okay. man. Oh, no. Walls down. Sage's walls are coming down. Mm -hmm. Even with the slow up, you can see now they're so scared of the, the boom box. I don't know if this wall is, is very wise because... I mean, it is the last oh, it's round. Okay. So. It's alright, but like you don't get the spike. Look, you, they didn't get the spike plant, mm -hmm. um, which is very unfortunate. And now they're going to have to recover the spike. But they... Now, because that wall, right? So it's great if you can get con if if you had, if they have someone watching the the backstab as shot, but now they are stuck between three angles, um, and that wall's gonna come down. So then they they basically essentially are stuck in U haul now. So what what is he what is he gonna do? Lucky for him, has a smoke gets take take some damage because of the shock dart. Not too much though. 39 seconds, so he knows Sugar is there. Wow. Nice. Okay. We'll get the headshot. That's three kills so far this round. And now 1v1 it's a one on now. one. Yeah. Oh! Making it work. Stuck in you how we thought it would be like shooting fish mm. in a barrel 1v3, but manages to turn that one around. And now Avatar are going to go uh, into the swap. Uh, just down four rounds. The score right now is eight and four. As we're saying, any round that they can get on the attacking side, it's just going to be an extra bonus for them. And yeah, they're in a pretty good spot after the swap. Yeah, it's gonna be it's, it's gonna be very key how uh, Cipher, yeah, surprise! Yeah. Cipher's at site B on by mm -hmm. ding ding ding. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, this is this is gonna be key to see whether they can they can crawl back uh, into this game. But they also need to hold. They they need they need this round. They they definitely need this round. So that's all right. Okay, Boombot goes out. So that's gonna force them back to mid. Oh, shoot. Sugar actually gets tagged really heavily. Down to 38. He's going to call for the heal. Right? Yeah. Okay. He, he calls for the heal. So that three damage from Trapwire, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> doesn't beat the, what, the 40, 50 59. Dam 59. What, 59 damage he took from the boom bot. <laughs> so... Yeah, so the heal comes through. Out of charges. 58 seconds. They're, they're probably coming at like 45. Recombolt. There they are. Okay, so they'll pick up two of them. That's great. Smokes come in. They're going to go for the corner plan. Bubble gum! Yum, yum, yum. We'll pick up a triple and Tokyo will wrap that up. And Bubble gum on 10 health. <laughs> Get the boom bot. Kill. And what is she? Was it a nade that followed up with that? that I mean, that's every raises. I'm a raise maid myself, and that's just every raises dream come true. Literally, I think you're the only agent in Valorant that has every ability to do damage. You can kill someone yeah. with every single ability. I love raise. There's so much potential uh, to make those big plays happen. Okay. Well, let's see. Phoenix Nuts is gonna. Oh. So eco, yeah, full eco, full eco, no shields, and slow walk to showers. Oh, so if they can pick off Sage, she's waiting the wall. But if they get the if they get the pick on her, this is gonna be huge. Okay, they don't get the pick on her, but they do get bubble gum, so that's that's huge as well. Oh, they saw her oh on the God. right, though. They know she's there. He's gonna get the headshot. Watch oh. this. No headshot, but reload. a lot of damage. Reload. We'll get the headshot eventually. eventually. <laughs> Recombo comes out. He gets taken out by uh, by Snow, who will get that molly on the corner. 
But uh, it's pretty even Steven now. Who has the majority of control? No one really. Lumire is gonna pick up a triple from heaven and bring a Avatar back into it. So from a from a commanding position in that round, mm -hmm. um, somehow Amari are able to claw their way back in with use of uh, with use of utility, especially that Molly. That was a pretty huge Molly from from Snow to to force uh, to force um, to force Amari to come out. Yeah, now Amari really feeling the pain of what it's like to have to attack uh, on a bind, losing the uh, first two rounds straight off the bat. It's just kind of what we uh, see in most uh, bind games, which is really once uh, both teams swap sides, the right. games get so much closer. Eight and six. Let's look at how the Cypher holds it. Flash comes out. Tripwire gets tripped. And uh, no cyber cages though. Now the cyber cage comes in. Tripwire is fully tripped. She gets stuck. All the locations are revealed. Recon Bolt is in. So he holds it for a pretty long time, but not long enough. The rotations will come through, but it's going to be a very, very slow rotation. Two in CT. Mayushi going to put up his camera to watch Portal. Spike Planet as well. And now Jet coming through long together with Sage. Let's see what Jet can do. Holding at window right now. Sage coming through, gets taken out. KC Chua, Tokyo not going to be able to drop anyone. And so it's going to be left to snow with a, st <laughs> with a stinger to take out five people. Does have a molly. Uh, I mean, he he's kind of stuck at this point. <laughs> he's about to uh, get pincered. Although Cypher is going back to a uh, spawn though. I don't so. know. I don't know if it's worth saving a Stinger though. Exactly. But like, I think I he would... knew that if he tried to escape earlier, he was definitely going to get killed. Well, I mean, I, d I don't know. Try try to ninja. Try to kill someone and get a Spectre or a Vandal. Um, try and get some money from the kills. Because like, if you, um, you, you, he's not going to use a Spectre this round, right? Uh, or the... Stink? Definitely. Yeah. Oh, she is. Okay. So she is gonna use the the stinger, and they're gonna go for spectre full buys on everyone else. But mm, we'll see if it turns out. Oh, we'll see if it works out, right? Mhm. Mm issue with the camera. Spots one to the left and the right. Boombot will come through. Game is definitely slowing down as the both teams have started to get comfortable with each other's uh, playing style. Yep, for sure. Uh, right now, a bit of a slower push this time around from Amari going for a 4-1. Phoenix still over on site B. Just wanted to get a bit more vision. Knows that B site usually really only has the Cypher. Oh, yep, he's going to lose that 1v1. It's just going to uh, pop the ultimate. Now knows exactly where Cypher is, though. First lays it down uh, the fire. They know that uh, if they get the pick off of Cypher right here, it would be time for the rest of the team to rotate in, but no loses that 1v1. The rest of the team is here for backup, though. There is still a 5v3 uh, situation. However, Avatar a bit slow on the rotation uh, right now. Uh, Sage going to get shot from the back. Drops the spike, drops that round, and Avatar bring it up a 9 and 7. Not so easy on the tech now, is it? <laughs> so, uh, is it? <laughs> definitely, they're, they're definitely feeling the pain now. And um, yeah, I mean, you can look, you can see the difference in, in the smokes, right? You can see the difference in the smokes. And also, they're really smart because they have sussed out where the, uh, where the tripwire locations are. And they've also sussed out where, they've sussed out where the tripwire locations are. They've also sussed out where the camera positions are. So they know it's either here or um, or on the CT CT facing door. Mm -hmm. um, but what's pretty cool is uh, she has varied up where she places her cyber cages. But we're gonna go to A now, as they're about to go for the flash. <laughs> bang! Wall goes through. Oh, okay, wall bang! You can just wall bang this. Come on, guys. Uh, 
they missed the wall bang opportunity. But, they know uh, she's there too. Yeah, so the smokes, the counter smokes are gonna come out now from Brim. And Mayushi though will pick up one, pops the cyber cage onto U Haul, and now they're gonna spot that stage. She will go down. Mayushi picks up another. They have control. And Mayushi will pick up a triple taking out Snow now. The last one standing is none other than Lumere. And what can she do? So she has... Ah, she could run and eco and save. Always an option. Always an option. But yeah, Amari managed to uh, lay down the spike in one of the better uh, spots uh, over on Site A. Really protects you from a lot of angles. As you can see right there, you can't actually shoot uh, from heaven. I mean, that's the, stand that's the standard plan point, mm -hmm. uh, yep. it, which is basically your Sage executes, put that wall down, so mm -hmm. you separate yourself from the inner from the inner part of the bomb site, and then you get the corner plant. And then you have someone in U-Haul. You have someone yep, in U-Haul. That is the ideal site A plant. So they've kind of figured out that they can't really contest Cypher at B, and now they're a lot more confident on A. Problem with that is they have also realized that um, it's going to be a heavy A stack now. Um, so yeah, they're trying to figure out what to kind of do, but I think they're going to go. Boombot's going to come through. <laughs> I like how all three members ran back just in case of the splash. And you never know; it's it's insane. Like <laughs> yeah, that's the the sound of fear. <laughs> it is the sound of fear. Um, hmm. Yeah, they're just stacking up. They know Sage is always in that corner. So just, they're just gonna see whether the Cypher here can gather a bit of intel and maybe get a pick. If they, if he does get the pick, then after that they'll just come flooding either. They'll come flooding through portal. So here comes the orbital strike from the defending side. Nuts will pick up. Uh, where's Nuts? Nuts will pick up a kill onto U-Haul, and now they'll slowly make their way into A. Spike's gonna get planted at the corner. And the counter rotate. Oh, ho, ho. Counter rotate comes in. We're gonna switch over to Tokyo, who has an operator up on Heaven. Is able to drop one. So four and four. Nukella at showers will take out Mickey. And now Tokyo is gonna smoke that out. But they need to move through, so... Cypher in the form of Lumeray, she needs to she needs to drop U-Haul because if they don't get U-Haul control, they can't go for the defuse. Gets a bit of a bit of wall penetration there, and they need to move in now. Now's the time to go. There we go. They have some. They have the confusion on Snow, and now they're gonna go for the defuse. They have control of that. No shower control at all. They hear the defuse. They can't do anything. Here oh. comes the fall. Is she gonna be able to do it? She will be able to do it. And that's what happens when you, uh, you know, when you get off of the uh, site way too early. So, gonna be able to get that defuse, gonna be able to keep the operator as well, and that is a desperately needed round for uh, for them to pick up. So, 10-8, the game is closing. The game is definitely closing up, and there is a there's very very small margin for error. Yeah, really close game and. As you mentioned, just confusing decision from the side of Amari. I mean, this is bind. It's hard enough to get a good plant down mm. onto the site. There's really uh, not much reason for you to give up control uh, of defending the site that early. They're way too late in trying to, after realizing uh, that Avatar was getting the diffuse on, they're way too late in trying to rotate their way back. Just. A mistake that I hope doesn't uh, come back to bite them uh, if this game does end Ooh. in Avatar's favor. So the cyber cage and the tripwire is there, but that's going to give away the position, and Tokyo needs to hit these shots. Yes! Oh! There we go. There we go. Nice. Okay, Orbital Strike going to force her out of position, but she's still in a very good position. Lumire and Snow at uh, elbow will take Mayushi. Sugar and Casey, another shot. Doesn't matter. She's not gonna hit her shots, but you know the rec the the recon um not the recon bolt, but the cyber cages and the trip wires and the cameras just doing so much intel work. And that brings it to 10-9. Yeah, so. Avatar are so close from making this a 10 all situation. And then once they do, they are on the defending uh, side. So it's definitely 
uh, heavily favored. Uh, for them, Amari, as you mentioned earlier, just really can't afford to make any more mistakes. Right now we see Tokyo in a good sniping position uh, from a heaven. It's uh, one of the better sniping positions over from site A because usually uh, if you do have a concentrated team push onto A, you'll have uh, one person look left into U-Haul another, while another person looks right uh, behind the boxes. So it is hard to actually uh, try to immediately take down whoever is camping over at A Heaven. Recombo doesn't do anything, but uh, Nuts does have his ult, so he's probably going to pop that and go through and see whether he can... No, they're gonna go for the counter rotate portal, but Sage is there, so uh, she can wall it off, and she will wall it off. So they're gonna break the wall, though. Nuts, what is he gonna? What is she gonna do? Is she just going to raise will alt and not kill anybody? Double flash now gonna come out from Nuts. Will she decide to alt as well? No. Now the counter rotate again. Nukella will. Nukella. Nukella gets taken out um, as Bubblegum goes down as well. And uh, just so many rotates on the map. Yeah, they're really taking their time. They took uh, uh, so... Well, the most, important, the most important thing to keep track of is where's the spike. And the spike is mm -hmm. on Casey right now at the moment. So she's going to wall at the wrong time. Nope, nope. Spike's and not on Casey anymore. Uh, no. Nope. Lumeray is going <laughs> to stop it. Six seconds to go. And they have no chance now because they can't recover the spike yeah and they also can't hunt because it's split between the two bomb sites yeah that was their last ditch effort they knew the clock was running out they had no choice but really to kind of uh run into the shelter and then try and get the plant down but at that point you know they're really sitting ducks already avatar had staked out uh that spot it's really easy to get the kill onto sage oh, and with that avatar have uh brought the score up to 10 all three more rounds for either of these teams will determine which uh team makes it top of their group and into the knockout stages for tomorrow so definitely very crucial last few rounds Once again, taking it very slow. Mm. 120. The I think Amari have <laughs> as Mickey misses. Uh, this is her. Uh, this is a slow R, but Nuts will come in with the alt. Mayushi will uh, use that uh, distraction that Nuts gives her, and now the up shot is missed. So he's gonna teleport all the way back from where he started at short. So Tokyo will. We'll be able to escape by the skin of our teeth. And now Cypher is going to be able, after taking out Buzz, uh, after taking out Bubblegum, to get the locations of everyone. Spike will get planted. That wall is there. That's perfect brimstone smokes right there. Not just on low, but on high as well, so that Heaven can't snipe. Mm -hmm. But the question is now, do they have U-Haul control? And can they hold U-Haul control? So all of that is in the hands of Mayushi. Get out of as well as uh, Casey. So Mayushi is going to pick up a double. And we'll get taken out now. So Lumire needs to bait them out. Defuse is going to come through. Hunter's view of... Oh! Perfect. Perfect. Like, there's no way. So they had Nukella in showers. Hunter's Fury. Ah, oh, what a perfect setup. 11-10. Yep. Uh, Amari... Really want to close this one out. We saw a couple of ultimates from both these teams being used. Right now, only Sage on Amari is going to be able to have her ultimate up for this round. So that res uh, could play a huge part in these final few rounds of the game. So both Sage is very close to res. I mean, uh, Casey has a res and Mickey with one orb or a kill is going to get a res as well. Mm -hmm. Lumire close to alt also which could be very pivotal yeah. for the rotate and snow snow has orbital strike pretty soon as well so yeah, yeah and usually especially if your sage is like six out of seven most i think most teams hands down would give the sage uh, the alt orb 
So camera coming out from Mayushi, trying to spot uh, bubble gum. Good use of smoke, just slowly feeling their way through. One minute on the clock, they will tag. And somehow, for some reason, I have no idea why she was stuck. Maybe she was removing the tracer dot or the tracking dot. So now they're gonna have control once again. Perfect smokes, and they're gonna do the standard uh, corner, standard corner plant. Mayushi is gonna go up against two. We'll get taken out by Snow, so that's great work. Snow now is gonna have his alt, but he's gonna go down. And Mickey doesn't have res yet, so if uh, if he need, she's gonna have to get a kill. Tokyo gonna go for the fake defuse, doesn't even get to half, so Bubblegum will drop nuts though. Now, Mickey one kill away to get res. Can she get it? No, she can't. And now I think they have full defuse. No, they don't. Recon will, will, will show their positions now, but they are at the halfway mark, and they're gonna have to force her out, and they will be able to pick that round up with 10 seconds to spare. So Casey, uh, no U-Haul control, that that uh, that situation doesn't doesn't pan out if, yeah. if you can't get U-Haul control. Yeah, what a close round. Uh, Lumi Ray uh, also was able to pick up the last alt point uh, off of the diffuse, I think. No, she picked off the kill, so she did have it before yeah. the diffuse. The thing is, uh, I think she knew that they probably had that round in the bag, and so she chose to not use uh, the ultimate to figure out where uh, the last yeah. uh, members were. So a smart decision that the is going to pay off right now. Is, yeah, right now, 11-11, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. they have a rest. They have Lumi, Lumi, uh, Lumi Ray's alt and mm -hmm. they also have an orbital strike so yep they've got all the tools to make it happen everything they need to if if that a push comes in they have everything they need to to do the retake because they can clear any corner and if a b push happens as well lumire has the perfect setup once again like the the cyber cages are in like really good spots trip wires as well and then the camera setup is also um top notch so if she wants to rotate through elbow to the other side, she can just tag the the guy, the the um, the push from Amari. We have both these teams so much on the line, and what might possibly be the last two rounds uh, of our last six games of today's FSL Valorant Open Group stages. Um, they might rue that uh, wall. So let's say Lumire. Trying to burn, but the cyber cage gives her vision. And here comes the orbital strike. So is anyone gonna go down? Yeah, Casey's gonna go down. So there goes the res. They're not gonna have that res. Orbital strike gonna try and take out anyone who's coming through CT, but they are way far back. Spike's gonna get planted though, so she did manage to get the plant before she went down to the orbital. So that might actually help them out. Four and four situation now. They have a res due the do uh, in 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 the form of Mickey. They have two slow orbs as well, and now slowly making their way to long. There are three of them defending from long. There is an op slow comes through. They planted for long. Uh, Mayushi gonna drop two. Snow will drop one, and now the question is, what can happen? Can Snow pick up that uh, that operator? Yes. Switch over to the pistol. Gets a double kill. Not enough bullets though to pick up the third and the twelve eleven. Used an orbital, but still have their res and still have their cypher alt um conversely as well uh amari also have their their res and their cypher alt right now but uh if we just do a cycle hunter's fury is not there they're not gonna get orbital strike surely this actually might be pivotal as well if she can get an orb, if Bubblegum can get the uh, get her alt up. And Snow is not too far away from his alt. Two kills. Tokyo's two kills away as well. Uh, they're going to go for B execute again. And they're pretty confident with this. Which is why they straight away are backing up and Tokyo is going to come through. So there's going to be a cyber cage there. As long as they trip the cyber cage. Oh no, Tokyo, what are you doing? Okay. So th they've let them into the side, that's fine. Smokes are in. So now what needs to happen is Lumire needs to pick up one or two kills. Right here. And that wall has Yeah, so they've gone for the out they've gone for outer plant again, once again. And now because of that knife, they know that they're there. They're gonna bust down the wall. That's a very weird retake. 
Okay, so one in sight. They need to clear the one in sight. Bob Gun will clear Nukella. Gumiri is there. Cypher ult's gonna come out. And last one standing is, of course, gonna be Mickey. She has the rest with the Judge. Uh, oh. Has the rest with the Judge. Actually had the opportunity if she waited a bit longer to go backstab. And I think she would have been able to pick up two or three. But a bit too slow going around.